Hi, Connie here. Did you know you have actually 500 times that you could go back into a document and look at a previous version that was saved? So let me say that again. You can go back to 500 different versions of a document. How many times have you ever went save as, save as, save as, um, because you thought, okay, I got to save another version. So I have a copy of the original and then I have this new one. And then I have another copy of the second original and I have this new one. Well, you don't need to do that anymore if you're using Microsoft Teams, which really is using SharePoint in the background for document management. Because with Microsoft 365, this is built in for you. So let me show you what I mean. So what I have here, is I'm just in a file. I've opened up a file in Teams, um, just so you can see this. I'll back, I'll back all the way out so you can see how I got to this point, but hopefully you know how to get to your files in Teams by now. But I'm gonna go to Teams on the left side here. Uh, the file I'm looking for is in the general channel. I could go to files to get a file. This particular file isn't under my files area. I actually have done a little bit more advanced stuff here and I've connected one of my SharePoint libraries to this team. You don't have to go this far. It will certainly work with your files that are in the files tab. I just did something extra for another reason. So I'm gonna go to sample files here. So it looks very much like the files area. I'm going to go to Word. This is just the folder I have. That's the name of the folder. And I'm going to go to the history doc that was modified four minutes ago and just open that up. Okay, so that's where I started you with. Okay, so what I want to show you here is how do I get back to these previous versions? Um, so again, just let me repeat, you do not need to save or do save as to keep an original of something because this is happening automatically in the background. Now it's possible if you started using Teams or SharePoint years and years and years ago and you saved files um, in this these applications at that point that maybe the document versions are not being updated. Um, that is a possibility. If you have been at this a long time, you might have to go back in there and, and change it because this became a default in the newest version of Microsoft 365. So if you just started saving files onto Microsoft 365, you should be fine. So let's go and see how this happens. Where do we find these different versions? So I'm going to go to the file menu at the top left here. And then um, I'm going to go to info. And then from info, I have the option for version history. So by the way, you can edit your file within Teams. You can edit your file on your web browser within Teams or within SharePoint, or you can edit your file just on your desktop app, the file the, where the file comes from. For instance, this file comes from Microsoft Word. I could edit in there on my application um, for Microsoft Word. So the, the catch though, of course, is that this file is not saved on my computer, on my hard drive. It's, it's saved on the SharePoint drive or it's saved within Teams that that makes it easier for you to understand. Okay, so I'm going to info and then version history. And then what you're gonna see here is on the right hand side of my screen, it shows me I did a bunch of things today just just because I thought I'd, I'm going to play around with this today. So the original document was saved April 2nd. So if I click on this, then this is what the original document looked like. Okay. Six minutes ago, so that's the most recent change from today. This is what the document looks like. It has a separate page here and then it's got another page there. What's in red and underlined is what the changes are from that version. So if I go to 14 minutes ago, then you see I added a third title. If I go to 15 minutes ago, I added a second title. And if I go to 18 minutes ago, I added version one. Okay, so let me go in order. I hope I'm not confusing you too much here. Um, this is the original. Right, so this is the original, just with the title exercise for Microsoft Word practice. And then this is my first revision. I just added revision one or version one. This is my second revision. So version one's still there and now that title. So I'm just doing little examples here. You guys could be, you know, deleting paragraphs or adding paragraphs or moving around your words. It doesn't really matter. Whatever the edit is, it's going to highlight it for you. 15 minutes ago, what happened? I added a third title 
And then seven minutes ago, I added a whole new page and I had a title called Document Virgin History. And then there's that page with all the rest of the information. So that's how easily you can keep track of previous versions of a document. And this is amazing to use when you're working with a group of people and everybody's making changes to it. So every time that document's saved, and saving is happening automatically too uh, in the background, um, it's creating that document version for you. So think about uh, what makes sense for your organization. How many versions do you want? Uh, could this be useful to you? You could change the setting, as I mentioned earlier. Um, the setting is something that would be changed within SharePoint. Uh, so that's that's where you'd have to go for that but otherwise it's just happening automatically for you within teams so hopefully you can use that thanks bye bye